Universal. We're at Studio Side today. I was freaking out a little bit. My camera stopped working for like the whole walk here. It was just showing gray, so I thought I was out. But we're back. It's working now. I don't know what happened. But we're here. Me and Mom are at the Today Cafe. She's grabbing some breakfast and I think a cappuccino. And I'm gonna head to Simpsons after to get my donut. Yeah. Kristen walked in with us. She ran over to Hagrid's. It said 120 minute wait. She's gonna try for single rider. I'm gonna attempt it later today after breakfast. And I just kinda wanna sit and people watch. We haven't really gotten to do that yet. And that's my favorite. So, just taking the day, relaxing today. So, that's our plan of attack. I'll show you what mom got for breakfast in a second. I've got the chocolate chip muffin. That looks good. Very dark looking. Mom's still back at Today Cafe. I'm gonna run and go get my donut now. Bring it back, because we have like, a nice seat over there. Um, bring it back and sit in there and eat it and to relax a little bit. And then take a stroll around the park. It's very quiet here on Hollywood. We got Lisa Simpson meeting over there. I've never met her before. We have more Halloween Horror Nights props up. Looking awesome. Team member previews was last night. And they were super excited, I could tell, because they were all at City Walk drinking and in their outfits. They hope they had a really awesome time. I wasn't sure that the sets would be back up because I think they took a lot down because of the hurricane, but they look all up to me. So, first night it starts tomorrow for our nights. So, exciting. Heading into Springfield for my gigantic donut. Hopefully, it's open somewhere. Looks like Laura Lads is open for my donut. I'm gonna head over to Quickie Mart though, see if it's in there. Because I don't get my annual pass discount at the outside stand. So hoping it's in here so I can get my discount. They had it and I got my discount. It was 75 cents. So better than nothing. So always check the in stores of your annual pass because you get discounts in there. Here's my donut. I think I got an old batch. The bottom, it's not as fluffy as usual and this, I, it's hard to tell, but it's like melted when normally it's not. Womp. Oh no, Doc can't find his way out. <laughs> He's coming back around. He's coming back this way? <laughs> I'm really bummed because I wanted to take a picture with the cars in front of Mel's drive-in. But they're not there. We have Shaggy and Scooby out. Betty Boop's over there dancing. Lisa Simpson's back out. We have the new character out for the new movie, Abominable. <laughs> Abominable. <laughs> we have a new, the new character for the new movie, Abominable. <laughs> Abominable. Look, look. Abominable. I can't pronounce it. But on our hotel TV, anytime like you pause your, your TV or if it thinks like you're not paying attention to it, it plays this damn commercial on repeat. And I really wanted to see this movie, but now I'm kind of annoyed at it, so I don't know if I want to see it anymore. But he's really cute, so let's go see him. Yep, he's like a nine-year-old. He's so cute! I love him! Sure. Hand the camera right over here. Charlotte. Mm -hmm. Like that for you. I quit on my favorite. Yeah. Meeting the characters at Universal is always A plus. There's never ever ever waits for them. You always just walk right up. Half the time they're just kind of sitting there. I think it's because they don't put times of when they're out. Oh my god, wait. SpongeBob is so cute. SpongeBob! <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, bring it around town, huh? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> hey, go ahead, Ma. You go. Maybe you go. So Spongebob just proved my point. As we were walking by, he had no one, so he was dancing for us in front of in front of the window. <laughs> so it's 
it's kind of like I guess if you're not used to the parks I remember I used to be like oh I don't know when the characters ever will be on Hollywood they're always out in the morning I think that it's continuous so when you get here early head to Hollywood and you should hit all of them back to back of course it's time for ET it always says a 10 minute wait but it's always a walk on Right, it's Solo and E.T. We help E.T. find them once we get them home, and there's not a moment to lose, because only E.T.'s magic healing touch can save his friends and bring the planet back to help. E.T. must go home, and only you can help him. Ah, E.T. That's right, E.T. So over by Bumblebee Tacos, every like 30 seconds to a minute, it goes like this beeping, Doo -doo 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 -doo, like, and that noise would drive me bonkers. I would never be able to work right there. <laughs> so before Kristen ran over to ride Hagrid's and the single rider wasn't working. So she took the train, came over here to ride Green Guts, and went back on the train to go back to Hagrid's. Single rider was still not open. So she decided to wait. It said 75 minutes and she just texted that she got on. So it was only 25 minutes. So I don't know why they lied about the time so much, but yeah, so I might head over at some point to do it. We shall get ahead to King's Cross, grab the train over, and Kristen said it still says 75 minutes, which is what she did, and single rider's open. So hopefully when I get over there, single rider is still open, because I don't care what I sit in right now. So heading over there, Mom's gonna leisurely walk back to the front. It's getting hot, and do some stores and stuff. So we'll see you later, Ma. See you later. It said the train was 15 minute wait, but walking right up. Made my way back to Hogsmeade. Let's see how long Hagrid's line is. Looks like another pretty empty day here in Hogsmeade. It says it's a 60 minute wait. Gonna put my stuff in the locker and see if I'm doing regular or single. Off Hagrid's, I went on twice. So I did regular line at first because single rider wasn't open and it said a 60 minute wait and I only waited about 25 minutes. I didn't have my phone with me because last time I brought my phone in the queue because it said a 100 minute wait. But my I wear like loose shorts and I was petrified that they were, it was going to fall out of the phone out of my pocket the whole time. So this time I left my phone in my, in my locker so that way I didn't have to hold on to it. I wanted to have both hands on the, on the bike and it was awesome. I really want to try it at night. I think it'd be really cool at night, but it was good. And while I was online, they opened single rider up. So like, I was looking at this little kid and he's like, do you want the bike or the sidecar? I was like, kid, I just waited online, even though it was a short wait, but he probably waited 30 seconds. I was like, nah, the bike. <laughs> um, because that one like kept like, it was like all parties at three and ones because the single rider wasn't open. So like that, I saw people leaving the single rider line super quick. Then I went and did single rider and it took a little bit more time. It was a lot of um, a lot of twos going up, so it took a more time. But then I saw like a family that they must have all wanted the bike. So they did they said they were one person. So then that made the line move a little bit. And then I was next online and a team member was like, I'm taking you with me. I was like, what? Where am I going? What? And he took me like a back way. And he said that every hour a team member has to ride the ride to make sure like everything's working properly. So I got to ride with him. I was totally expecting to get the sidecar because I was doing single rider and I haven't done it yet so I wanted to see what the difference was. But he let me pick and I was like, I can't not do the bike because it's like the better of the one. So I did the bike again and while we were on it he like told me some facts. So uh, the ones that I remember, there's like some plates on each of them and it's the row and seat number and then the initials are different on each one and it's someone that helps with make the ride. And then another fact was, he explained it was the seven launches, most launches on a roller coaster, most animatronics on a roller coaster, which I didn't know those. And then he told me that on a normal day they only run six of their cars, but they do have 12. And today for some reason they're running eight, even though the line was really short. So I've even when I was online, we were moving a lot faster than we were moving yesterday, so like you can completely tell that there was more cars going. So he said that's not normal, it's usually been six. So today was eight, so I guess maybe they're trying to, to get them all ready to go. Because then he said a number of how many people he could put. 
I might be making this up. I feel like he said 2,500 an hour of gas, which is the most roller coaster, but I really don't remember that, so I'm not 100% sure on that one. And he said each car, each row, and they have 12 of them, cost two million dollars. So that is insane, but makes sense. But yeah, crazy. So it was cool. I got some, some facts from him. He said he had a lot more, but obviously he had to get back to work. He told me a few while we were like waiting to go, and a few as we were like walking to the exit. But then he had to get back to work. So that was a cool experience. So if you can get with a team member, they let you pick your seat and they do it every hour to see how it's all running. He said Fluffy works when he wants to. They're just used to it. I didn't even notice. I guess he's supposed to move more. So, but that's not, I guess, a big deal. I think it's more the other stuff. But yeah, so it was good. I got online at 11.40 and got finished with both. And I was starting to walk by 12.30. So I got it done twice in less than an hour. Yeah, buddy. But even the first time it was like, we it was continuously walking. I got to the point right where you get into like the tunnels, hallways, like not in a room. So right what those, and that's where I waited. And we were constantly moving because I guess there's more, more trains. So good to know. Hopefully they get out all 12 soon and then the line should be boop, 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 boop. All right, so now I'm gonna head back to the room for a little bit. It's pretty hot today. And I think it's Epcot night. So we're gonna head over there, relax for a bit, probably head to the gym, and get ready for Epcot. <laughs> 